Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to turn on and off your computer with Alexa. So essentially there's two wires going to your power button and when your computer calls for power, essentially it just connects these, this, this switch right here connects these two wires together and what that does is it sends a signal to the motherboard to turn on. So you're going to need to trace the two wires coming from your power button. So I pulled off the front cover and then they go right here and they connect to my motherboard. So I could disconnect this or I could just work on it in the PC. Make sure you turn off all the power. Then you're going to need one of these relay switching modules. Make sure it's a momentary module because you only need it to depress the button a little bit and then stop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be wiring the two buttons that come from the power button on the computer to the comm and normally open wire. And what that will do is that will complete the circuit. Now I've already tested the continuity with a multimeter and I've also tested the voltage. There's really no voltage across these terminals. So it should be very safe to use on the computer. So the other thing is we can't just sit this on metal otherwise it's gonna short out. So we're gonna need to create some sort of case for it and we're gonna need to find some plastic to do that. So first things first, we're gonna try and find something to Okay. All right, so I've gone ahead and wrapped the board in this non-conductive plastic material here and then I just put some plastic over it so that can sit along the base right there and that won't short on anything. So that's how we're going to do it. Now we got to get to cutting the wire. So I can't show you in detail, but essentially there are the two wires coming from the power switch. You're going to make sure the power is off of the PC. You're going to cut it in a convenient spot where you can strip on both sides and then you're gonna just strip back some of the wire. Sometimes it's, it's helpful if you cut the wire down the center first. That usually helps. And that will help you strip it better. So the wires going to the switch, they don't matter as much. We need to make sure we, we make a connection with the wires going to the motherboard. The wires going to the motherboard are the important connection to make. I mean, obviously, if you want your switch in the front to still work, you're going to want to connect that as well. But, there we go. So, yeah, I've gone ahead and I've cut the wires down the center because they're in a, in a wired pair. And then I've stripped back about a quarter of an inch of the insulation from each of the wires. And now you're probably going to ask me, does polarity matter here? Nope, not at all. Polarity doesn't matter. This is just closing the circuit. So now we have our four bare wires. And we have our relay. Let me show you how we're going to connect it. So we have normally open and common. Those are the only terminals that we're going to be using. So we're going to loosen up these three terminals here for the ones that we're going to be using, which are common and normally open. Open it all the way. Open this all the way. Okay. Now, coming from the computer, I'm gonna go one and one. And then coming from the other side, we're gonna go one and one. So basically, we're gonna rejoin the wires together. Just like that and just like this, but uh, they did come apart, so that's the only troubling part. This is very, 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 very high gauge wire, very thin, so it's kind of hard to get them to connect to each other. See, as you can see, they keep coming out. So, it's, it's not the easiest wire to work with, it's not fun, but eventually you'll twist the pair enough and then you can fold it on top of itself too. That usually helps make sure that it's not gonna come undone. All right, so we've got one, and now we've got two. And before we even make the connection to the relay, what I wanna do is I wanna electrical tape these connections together, uh, just so that nothing happens when it, when it pulls on it and causes this to disconnect, then the, the PC won't turn on. So that would be a problem. You wanna make sure that this connection is very secure. You could even solder it if you wanted, but I'm just going to use a little bit of tape to make sure that it never comes loose. I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to take our electrical tape, 
I'm gonna take a, de take a decent piece. And right where these wires join together down here, we're just going to take them. And what this will do is it will make sure that hopefully this never gets pulled on and never gets a chance to disconnect. So now theoretically, if you had the machine on and you were to touch these two wires together, the machine would turn on. All right, so now it's normally open and common. Like I said, the polarity doesn't matter. We just need to get it connected one and one to one and one. So it's kind of an awkward angle for me to work in here, but we're gonna try the best we can. So we got one in, and we're just gonna screw it down. There's one good connection made. Now, there's connection two. Goes right in there. We'll get that one in there. And we'll tighten it up. Now, here's what I just realized. The, uh, the computer, the power supply in the computer itself is not going to be on unless the computer's on. So most likely you're going to have to plug this into an external power source. So this is all the wiring by the way. The, the rest of the stuff is going to be done on the app. There's some directions here. Basically you download an app and then you link it with Alexa. And it's really not too complex. But uh, let me try and find that power cable so we can figure out our power situation. I don't know where it went. Remember it was somewhere over here. Press the button on the relay and see if the computer turns on. And there you go. So there's all the wiring done. Now we just need to set up the software to control the relay. All right guys, so we got it working. The only problem is that you can only tell it turn on computer to turn it on and off. You can't say turn off, it doesn't work. But it does work, it does turn it on and off. You just have to use the same command. So Alexa, turn on computer. And what that will do is that will shut down my computer. And as you can see, it's not cutting the power to the computer, which is bad for your hard drives, bad for your computer. What it's doing is it's mimicking pressing the power button with this relay, like I just tried before. So we did all the hardware version of that. You saw me set it up. Now you can see in there, we got the wires coming, you know, from the switch to the relay. This is powered by a external little supply there. And now I'm gonna show you what I had to do on my phone to get it working with Alexa. So, this is the Alexa app, but... Yeah, I'm just talking to you. Anyways, okay, so we got the EWE Link app, E-W-E Link. Now, I had some trouble actually getting this to pair. When you press plus, and you click on quick pairing, and then you press next, what you want to do is you want to move your phone as close as you can to the relay. It didn't discover it this close. It only discovered it when I put it right next to it. And also, I had to do something else. You also have to make sure that your, your Wi-Fi supports 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. My router had an option, it's a Netgear Nighthawk R7000, has an option where the router will, will automatically configure um, to choose if it's 2.4 or 5 gigahertz according to the traffic. And I had to turn that feature off so that I could get it working. So now it does actually work 100%. So now, but once you add the uh, the device here, that's easy enough. You know, you, um, but remember, so you press plus, you go to quick pairing, you add your Wi-Fi network, make sure it's 2.4 gigahertz, bring your phone really close to this. And it's gonna ask you before you even continue, you're gonna need to press that little button in there and hold it for seven seconds. So there are actually two buttons in there. There's one that changes the mode Switch. The one to the left right there, that one changes the mode and you'll uh, you'll notice because when the relay is triggered, um, it's, it's different mode, it's not momentary. 
And so you want that to stay on momentary. But the button to the right, you want to hold that one down. The one that triggers the relay on and off. You want to hold that one down for seven seconds for it to engage startup. I actually disconnected mine from the wall, plugged it back in, and then held it down for seven seconds. And then it finally found it on the app. I finally paired it. And then once you're done with that, you're going to go into your Alexa app. And you're going to go on over, you're going to go to uh, skills and games. And you're gonna have, you have to make the EWE Link app first. You can't just do the Alexa skill. So now, once you already have your EWE Link um, app installed and you've made your account, you're gonna go to the EWE Link Smart Home. You're gonna enable the skill and you configure the device and then it's done. And then that way you'll be able to turn on your computer with your voice. Alexa, turn on computer. So the main reason why I'm using this is not to turn it on, it's actually to turn it off.